Well, can I just tell him that I know you're okay? No. Jill, you can't. Why not? Because nobody's okay. The first season of The Leftovers wasn't for everyone, though many of us found it to be an involving and thoughtful look at a society trying to deal with an anguishing situation, the sudden disappearance of 2% of the world's population, where no answers could be found. But season two of Damon Lindelof's first series since Lost evolved into something truly special, with a big and somewhat risky change in setting that managed to expertly expand upon the characters and storylines already established. There are a ton of haunting and evocative moments The Leftovers gave us in 2015, and there are few shows that can equal its emotional impact or have us feeling so much empathy for the characters and their struggles. At the same time, this is also highly entertaining TV, with notably cool twists and turns thrown in. As we pondered just how metaphysical the show was getting, and whether, say, a journey into the afterlife was all imagined or real, The Leftovers became absolutely captivating as it asked the season-long, Pixies-inspired question, where is my mind? So what are you waiting for?